is absolutely the most strange, bizarre Mexican food I've ever seen in my life. Mexico. Just like their salsa, your experience here can be mild mm. or extra spicy. Oh my god. Really hot? It's really hot. <laughs> Today, it's gonna get caliente. I just had a quinceanera in my mouth. As we hunt down the most unusual. What is this thing? Super strange. Oh, mierda. Shockingly wild food creations you'll find in Mexico City. They made pork skin into a pickle. From creepy crawly taco fillings. You can feed all the legs. Oh my god. To a late night street food stall serving some bizarre body parts. Ooh, that's a lot of. Flavor. So throw whatever you knew about Mexican food out the window. Today, we're going off menu. This unique food journey starts at Los Machetes. Here they sell massive oblong quesadillas with an insane variety of filling options. Sure, you could get the standard chicken or beef, but what about cow stomach? Ever tried that in a quesadilla? Peluche? Ah, oh, here I am. Today's eating partner, Peluche. He's a local food YouTuber who documents some of the best recipes around the country. You're far away from me, but between us is so much deliciousness. Yeah. This is incredible. This is like a big, big, big quesadilla. Most biggest quesadillas I've ever seen in my life. What is this, like a foot and a half? Uh, maybe like 50, 60 centimeters. Wow, that's like 11 feet. I don't know how to convert things. These quesadillas are one of a kind, and it's not just about the size. They have over a dozen filling options, many you've probably never even heard of before. Do you know what all these are? Yeah, that's pancita, that is the beef stomach. There's also rajas poblanas, that is type of chili. There's also tinga, chicharron, that is pork rinds. I also heard one ingredient that really stands out. You said there's cow stomach. Yeah, yeah, cow stomach, exactly. Today, we're getting machetes two ways. First, with cow stomach, because cows have four stomachs, but we only have one life. So, you know, YOLO. And the second one... That is called Super Cubano. Yeah. It literally means that it has everything. Our first cheesy masterpiece starts with the dough, flattened in a press, powered by hand. Toss the dough on the flat top, and when it starts to firm up, pile on the ingredients. Cow stomach, then three Mexican cheeses, cream cheese, manchego, and queso Oaxaca. Fold it up and let it fry until it's golden brown and crispy. Take a look at this. There is a load of stomach in there. I want to take a peek. Look at inside. the steam, guys. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Listen, that cow stomach is really strong. It's, it's like a little gamey. Yeah. Uh, if you go to a farm and smell, <laughs> and you're like, oh, it smells like a farm. That's what that smells like. Kind of. All right, let's try this out. OK. Uh -huh. Wow. That is intense. It's very unique. How are you doing? Enjoying or suffering? I'm kind of in a mix of both. I'm just suffering, but it's like a good suffering, you know, because the cheese is pretty good. I mean, the dough is amazing, the flavor of the oil. I mean, everything is a good experience. Do you like the stomach? Mm -hmm. Can I be honest? It is a bit challenging for me. It's a powerful flavor. Just because of the flavor or because of the texture too? I can't even feel the texture because it's kind of mixing with the ooey gooey cheese, but the flavor is very powerful. It's powerful, yeah. You know what I think is really messing with me? It's like, this is one of my ultimate comfort foods, a tortilla and cheese, and then someone puts cow stomach in it. I think that's what's throwing me off because I'm like, I'm waiting for this moment of like this endorphin rush of cheese and then I'm met with cow stomach. Can we try the other one? Next in line, the Super Cubano. This quesadilla is packed with just about every topping they have. It starts with Oaxacan cheese, spread on top the over two foot long quesadilla. Now the toppings, mushrooms, shredded beef, ground beef, ground beef with potatoes, chicken, squash blossoms, cow stomach again, corn smut, chicharron, and finally, cream cheese. This is a different quesadilla. Yeah. It looks similar, but inside it couldn't be more different. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to start with this one that is the flor de calabaza. Oh, and I'm going to start with that one, which is yeah, white requeson. Oh, requeson. One type of cheese. Let's try it out. Oh. I really love this one. This is pumpkin flour. It's amazing. One of the most amazing things you can find here in Mexico City. This tastes like a sour cottage cheese. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. They have two different sauces here. Salsa verde. Y salsa roja. Which one do you like more? For me, I will choose la salsa verde. A little bit of green sauce? Yeah, go for it. Okay, right, let's try it out. Cheers. better, right? It adds like a big kick to it. That is so much cilantro. Mm -hmm. I think the spiciness is almost coming from the cilantro itself. What other bites do I have here? What was that? Chicharron? Uh, chicharron, yeah, yeah. What's I have one? shredded meat and mm -hmm. mushrooms. You ready? Let's do it. 
Oh, it's delicious. Really Cheesy, good. meaty. Oh, I have a big mushroom bite. I have poblano chili, and they're made with sour cream, corn, and also onions. Oh, yeah. One of my favorites so far, it tastes like canned mushrooms. Uh, I grew up in a trailer house, and that is like eating caviar. I'm getting full. We gotta walk around a little yep. bit and go find more food. Let's go. Vamonos. Vamonos. Welcome to San Juan Market, Mexico City's most famous market for exotic meats and daring delicacies. Here, you can find anything from crocodile to armadillo and a whole laundry list of creepy crawlers. Senorita, can I shake your hand? <laughs> nice to meet you. Meet the queen of this creepy cuisine, Sonora Martha Marin. We came to this doll because she has so many special ingredients. A lot of them used to be alive and they used to be crawling. Bugs, they're everywhere. Have you eaten all these? Just this one? This one, this one, oh. just, just these three. Have <laughs> you eaten all these? Sí, to, todos She's telling me that he has tasted everything and she likes it because of the textures, because of the flavor and all the colors and everything. So you like it? Basicamente, she loves it. Well, what about, um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Over here. It's her favorite, I think. Okay, <laughs> show me. <laughs> This creepy bugger is known as a hissing cockroach. They're one of the largest species of cockroaches in the world, growing up to two to three inches in length. Though they come from Madagascar originally, these were farmed in Mexico City. Provecho. Provecho. Oh, it's good. It is not that good for Sunny, but it is pretty good. I mean, I like it. It smells like someone's hair that hasn't been washed for like 300 days. For me, it tastes like chicharrón. Did you say dandruff? It tastes like dandruff. I don't know, it's so weird, and I don't mean to be mean, but she didn't prepare it. She just put it on a stick and rammed it through its butt. I don't feel that bad. It tastes like bad breath. It tastes like halitosis. <laughs> That was a fantastic appetizer. Thank you so much. You're a wonderful chef. So I think we should get a few different things. What is this one right here? La hormiga chicatana, pues es que aquí... This is basically an ant. In Mexico, we call it a big ass ant. Hey. Because, you know, it's like the J-Lo of ants. Yeah. The ants with the large posterior. They're known as chicatana ants, the most popular ants in Mexico, known for being notoriously difficult to catch. Not only can they bite, but they can also fly. Fortunately, in their current state, they can do neither. Here, Sonora starts with a blue tortilla made from blue corn, which gives it its blue color. Now, the big ass ants. Slap them on the griddle and add a bit of salt. Add that to the tortilla, add cheese, and enjoy. Or at least, try to enjoy. We have our tacos here. I wanna first start by giving it a whiff. The corn smells good. Oh, no, the ants, dude, the ants smell oh, like... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they smell <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah. The ants smell like pig manure. Yeah. Now, listen, not everything that smells bad is bad. Take me, for example. You don't smell that bad. I mean, uh -huh. you've been here for three days, so... Thank you. Cheers, right, provecho. Really makes you think about life, huh? A little bit dry. Well, yeah. It's very crispy. Mm -hmm. Super crispy. You can fit all the legs and the wings. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, yeah, these bugs are so big. Look mm -hmm. at this. Do you want to try just an ant? Yeah, of course. You know what? It tastes like a, in here we call it chicharron. Yes. Like pork rind. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like a chicharron that's been fermenting a little bit. It's an uncanny type of flavor and experience. And then when you eat it with the cheese, it's just not a very strong flavor. Our second course. Acosiles, a species of micro crayfish native to Mexico. Pre-Hispanic folks used to eat them in tacos long ago. The recipe is simple. Tortilla, crayfish, a sprinkle of all-purpose seasoning, and a squeeze of lime. Add some guac and dump a load of these aquatic creatures on top. Well, she did not hesitate to just completely F this up yeah. with these little tiny crawfish. It is slammed full of yep. these. I'm gonna grab one, it's wild. It weighs almost nothing and it looks just yep. like a tiny little shrimp. Let's try it. These are the better ones. Mm. Little spicy, little salty, you know? Yeah, it tastes like it's been mixed with spices. It tastes like chili salt. Yep. All right, let's try it out. For me, this is the best combination ever because it's salty and I love this salty flavor. It's super salty. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like drinking food. Like, I feel like we're missing a beer right now. The flavor is much more mild than the last one. It's kind of like a comfort snack, kind mm -hmm. of, right? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I've eaten a lot of bugs around the world, but this next one, I've never seen before. 
These are a type of beetle. It's one of the most commonly eaten insects in Mexico. Tortilla, toasty bugs seasoned with chili oil, salt, and orange juice. Guac, beetles, fold, and serve. Next, we have these beautiful, colorful beetles. They have this iridescent kind of color on their wings, so they're shiny and they change color. Let's try it out. Oh my God, you need to chew it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Because oh. this is the, the whole bug, I mean. <laughs> oh, you know what it's like? It's when you eat popcorn at the movie theater and you get a kernel stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot welded on the back of your throat and you're like, oh. It's exactly <laughs> like this. It's very sharp, papery, and kind of spiky. It's dangerous. But the flavor, this is my favorite flavor out of all of them. Oh, really? Kind of smoky, toasted, roasty flavor coming off of it. Yeah. That blends well with the guacamole. Some of the best food experiences you'll have in Mexico happen in the streets. Street vendors found everywhere throughout the city serve snacks between big meals called antojitos, or little cravings. Here we have one of the craziest antojito stalls around. When it comes to unique street food, this is one of them. What is it called again? Dori Locos. Crazy Doritos, right? Crazy Doritos, right, exactly. But you hear Doritos and you're like, well, how crazy could you make Doritos? This is crazy, man. This is a snack made from Dorito chips, but they add a whole lot of loco with other toppings and pickled pork skin. Normally, this dish would be served inside a Doritos bag, but here they load it with so much, there's no way it could all fit. It starts with the Dorito chips. Add pickled jicama and pickled carrots. Next, Japanese peanuts with chili and regular Japanese peanuts. Then a fried corn stick snack called choritos. Lemon flavored, chili and lemon flavored, and chipotle flavored. Now for the most bizarre element, pickled, pork skin, and a lot of it. Finally, a dash of chamoy sauce and Valentina sauce, then chili powder, lime, and you're ready to eat one of the most unusual, crazy street foods in Mexico City. Mm. I think we should start with a Dorito. Let's try it out. Whoa. Oh, the lime. There's a lot of lime over there. There's like some vinegar. It's very sour. Super sour. Yeah, I thought this might not be healthy, but she put <laughs> a lot of carrots in mine. And also oh, the oh, jicama. Yeah, we got jicama and carrots. Over here, yep. Let's try it out. Do it. You can feel the freshness of the jicama and the carrot. For me, it's like the perfect combination. Something like fatty, mm. and then you are not regretting it because you are tasting like the fruits and the vegetables. I got a Dorito. I'm gonna build on top of this. I'm gonna put this, what is this? The wheat flour chip. Wheat flour chip. Then the pork skin. Pork skin has to go on there. Then some carrot, some jicama, and I think that's all. Oh. That's all that's gonna fit. Whoa. This is perfect, oh, you the ultimate want, man. nacho. Yeah, go for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is wild, man. I think it suits Mexico so well. It's super colorful, mm -hmm. it's unique. The flavors are loud and vibrant. There's sourness, spiciness, saltiness, all together in one dish, and just a ton of different textures and flavors to choose from. But the pork skin, I think that's my favorite part. It's pickled, so it tastes a little bit sour, but the texture, it's kind of gummy. Yeah, <laughs> a pork gummy. Which is like the perfect snack at this time of the day. Going into nighttime is perfect. In Mexico City, when the sun goes down, the street food vendors pop up. But some stalls get more action than others. Musicians busking on the sidewalk. Lines of hungry locals coming home from work, desperately in need of a savor retreat. The big draw here is corn, but it goes a lot deeper than that. Boiled corn, corn on the cob. Then there's this, late night snacks I didn't expect to find here. Ma'am, senorita, wow. This place is awesome. This is Sonora Santa Loreto. She started this stall with a small pot of boiled corn right here in 1977. Since then, she's added a lot, including her signature bone marrow dish. You call it esquites? Esquites, exactly. Esquites, what is that? Esquites, it's a type of Mexican corn-based snack. Typically, it's made from mature corn grains. That gets boiled in salt water, then sauteed with butter, onions, and some protein. Finally, when everything stews and softens, it's served in a cup. Here they make it in two different but daring ways, with chicken feet or with bone marrow. You also have chicken feet. I'm a big fan of chicken feet. How are you making it here? Cuando es el pollo. You want to see a patita right now? Why, does she want to grab the foot for us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, she's bringing her foot down. Yeah. The foot is on its way. Boom. And she's going to prepare it. Okay. So a little chili powder. And a little bit of salt she's going to put. That's it. I'm not sure what to say. She brought one foot. Yeah, just one foot. Who gets the foot? No, but I'll stay. For you. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna buy you. you like two feet later. <laughs> it's okay. Double it's the okay. feet. Okay, I'm gonna try it out. Already, I can feel it. It is so soft. Extremely soft. I can see it. Ooh, look at that. It's, it's like coming apart. Yeah. 
friendly alum cheek and feet. It's a simple but brilliant preparation. Yeah. I mean, it's so fresh with that lime on there and just a little bit of heat. That's wonderful. Man, thank you so much for this experience. I can't wait to try the food. We're warming up with chicken esquites. This giant pot of corn, chicken feet, and chicken gizzards has been simmering all day. When your order is placed, it's scooped up with a little bit of everything and topped with a shake of chili powder. All right, look at this here. So here it's served in a styrofoam cup because it's really hot. Yeah. It's the perfect nighttime food because it's a little bit chilly here. Yeah. I got to try it already, but uh, I think you should try it too. Let's, so go let's for try it. it together. Let's go for it. Extremely soft. I mean, it has a lot of flavor, a lot of collagen too. Yeah, that's a great texture because mm -hmm. you don't want it to be too tough. You know, in Vietnam, they like it to be really chewy, but if you go to Hong Kong, it's so steamy, there's almost no texture at all. And this is right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. As you dig down, there's kind of a broth. Should we try it out? Yeah, yeah, of course. Good touch on the lime. Yeah, it's almost hard to call it a broth. It's almost like a lime juice. Lime that juice, that yeah. It's sitting in here. Some people might call it a chicken stomach. Some people might call it a gizzard. You ready? Yep, Let's I'm ready. That is delicious. It's got chili powder on there, so it's kind of hot, but the texture is outstanding. When I had these growing up, my mom would kind of fry them in oil, and they're kind of tough. Here, this is super soft. Really because tender. of the time, you know? Delicious, super refreshing, super citrusy, and it just really soft meat. You can tell she cooked this with love. Our final dish, or uh, I guess cup, it's called duetano. A similar corn base is stewed with big beef bones and cartilage for hours until the marrow becomes soft, melding rich, fatty flavors with a starchy base. When it's ready, they layer in corn, then skillfully remove the soft, buttery marrow from the bones. More corn, mayo, crumbly queso fresco, a dash of chili, and a squeeze of lime. Today was all about really unique food, and this is a great way to end right here. You ready? Yep. Final bite. Whoa. Ooh, that's a lot of flavor. I mean, whoa. I just had a quinceanera in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good description. I really love these skitties. I think this is the most popular ones, and I know why. I mean, they have a lot of flavor. The texture is excellent. It's pretty soft. They have a lot of fat as well. With the mayonnaise, with the cheese, uh, with the citrus, that is a powerful flavor. Yeah. Oh. Mm. This one's stealing my heart. I love it. Sunny just fell in love with this. There's so much of it. Yeah, there's a lot of Bomero. Do you know how much this costs? This is only 65. So it's about three bucks. It's a lot of food. It's a full meal. It's hearty. It's going to fill you up, especially at night, like a late night snack. What's brilliant to me is someone has taken marrow. They took the inside of a bone and turned that into a meal. That's why I like Mexican food, because we took advantage of these things. Like maybe in other countries, they just throw it on the trash. And yeah, and so I feel right at home. <laughs> this is perfect for me. That's good. My dude, this was <laughs> awesome. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. You are so bored of cucumbers <laughs> and making pickles that they're like, let's just pickle skin from an yeah. animal. It's suave. Las ponemos muy cocidita. She's telling me that it is super soft. What is suave? Suave. Super suave. Suave is soft. Like yeah. rico suave? Like, okay. Do you know rico suave? You know rico, rico suave? Is it like that soft? Is yeah. that smooth? So how long have you been doing this? Oh, más de 20 años. 20 years. 20 years? More wow. than 20 years, yeah. That's a lot. Since you were five years old. <laughs> These are the weirdest ants I've ever seen. <laughs> They just have a really big ass. Yeah, yes. yeah I know, ass. right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, that is the end of our video. So many unique foods and so many fun new experience with my man, Peluche. Yeah. Thank you, Sonny, for inviting me to this. Uh oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, do you think I was pointing at you? Uh, it's incredible to have you on. You're so knowledgeable you. and energetic. And guys, he has his own YouTube channel. It's in Spanish, but it, it also has beautiful shots of food. So anybody from anywhere can really appreciate you'll it. You'll like it, you'll like it. Check out his channel right here is the name. Follow, subscribe, see so much more about Mexico and Mexico City than I could ever show you. And uh, just unsubscribe from me. You can have my subscribers. Thank you very much. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. A peace. peace. Oh, you nailed it. Yeah. You didn't even have to <laughs> be told what to do. You knew what to do. You walked the wrong way. It's perfect. <laughs>